In February 2025, Iran unveiled the Bavar 373-2, a significantly enhanced iteration of its domestically produced long-range air defense missile system, marking a pivotal advancement in its military capabilities. Introduced by the Iranian Defense Ministry's Aerospace Organization during an exhibition attended by President Masoud Pazeshkian, this upgraded system underscores Iran's commitment to self-reliance and deterrence amid escalating regional tensions. Building on the original Bavar 373, first operationalized in 2019 after the cancellation of a Russian S-300 deal due to UN sanctions, the Bavar 373-2 integrates cutting-edge technology to address modern aerial threats. Its development reflects Iran's strategic shift toward indigenous defense solutions, a response to both external pressures and the need to counter sophisticated adversaries like Israel and the United States in the volatile Middle Eastern theater. The system's evolution also highlights Iran's broader geopolitical strategy, to assert technological parity with global powers while navigating a landscape of sanctions and isolation. The Bavar 373-2 introduces several technological leaps that elevate its standing among regional air defense systems. A standout feature is its independent launcher stations, where each transporter erector launcher is equipped with its own radar, allowing autonomous detection tracking, and engagement of targets. This decentralization enhances operational flexibility, reduces vulnerabilities tied to centralized command, and ensures resilience in contested environments, a critical advantage in scenarios where communication lines might be disrupted. The system's detection range now exceeds 320 kilometers, potentially reaching up to 450 kilometers according to some claims while its tracking range surpasses the original 260 kilometers, improving early warning capabilities. Coupled with the Syad 4B missile, a sophisticated air-to-surface and anti-ballistic missile, the engagement range extends from 200 kilometers to an impressive 300 kilometers, enabling it to intercept high-speed threats like ballistic missiles, drones, and stealth aircraft at greater distances. The ability to track 60 targets and engage six simultaneously further bolsters its effectiveness in complex, multi-threat scenarios, positioning it as a cornerstone of Iran's multi-layered air defense network, alongside systems like the Kordad-15 and Russian-supplied S-300. Iran's procurement of the Bavar-373-2 is entirely domestic, a testament to its industrial and scientific base, developed in collaboration with local universities and defense firms. This self-sufficiency stems from necessity. Sanctions have long restricted access to foreign systems, but also from ambition, as Iran seeks to rival the technological prowess of its adversaries. While specific costs remain undisclosed, the system's rapid evolution, from the original Bavar 373 to this advanced variant in under six years, suggests significant investment and prioritization. Deliveries are likely in progress or imminent as of March 2025, following its February unveiling, though official confirmation of widespread deployment is pending. The system's mobility, mounted on trucks, facilitates strategic positioning across Iran's vast and rugged terrain, with potential deployments speculated in allied regions like Iraq or Syria, where earlier Bavar variants were reportedly active by 2023 to counter Israeli airstrikes. Its operational readiness was demonstrated during the Ektidar drills in Isfahan in February 2025, where an upgraded Bavar 373 downed a target alongside an S-300, hinting at the Bavar 373-2's capabilities in live exercises and its integration into Iran's operational doctrine. The Bavar 373-2's role extends beyond territorial defense to strategic deterrence, aimed at countering fifth-generation stealth fighters like the US F-35 and Israeli Air Forces, which have repeatedly struck Iranian targets in Syria. Iranian officials assert it rivals or surpasses systems like the Russian S-400 and US Patriot, with a maximum altitude reach of 32 kilometers and robust anti-missile capabilities. 
its recent activities, including the February 2025 unveiling and a March 2nd announcement by Brigadier General Ali Reza Sabahifard of a new generation variant, reflect Iran's intent to maintain momentum in air defense innovation. Amid regional flashpoints, such as Israel's October 2024 airstrikes on Iranian assets, the Bavar 373-2 signals a bolstered defensive posture, potentially reshaping power dynamics in the Middle East. Its unveiling coincided with heightened rhetoric from Tehran, framing it as a response to Zionist aggression and a means to protect national sovereignty, a narrative that resonates with Iran's domestic audience and regional allies. To assess its standing, a comparison with regional competitors is instructive. Israel's Aero Missile Defense System, co-developed with the U.S., excels in intercepting ballistic missiles at ranges up to 2,400 kilometers and altitudes exceeding 100 kilometers, leveraging advanced radar and layered integration with systems like David's Sling. Its proven combat record against Iranian proxies, such as Houthi missile attacks, gives it an edge in real-world reliability, though its focus is narrower than the Bavar's broader anti-aircraft role. Turkey's S-400, acquired from Russia, offers a 400 km engagement range and superior radar, tracking up to 80 targets, but lacks the autonomy of the Bavar 373-2's Telars and relies on foreign supply chains, a vulnerability Iran avoids through its domestic production. Saudi Arabia's U.S.-supplied Patriot Pac-3, with a 160 km range and emphasis on missile defense, benefits from American technological refinement, but is less versatile against diverse aerial threats compared to the Bavar's multi-target capacity. The Bavar 373-2's claimed capabilities align closely with the S-400, though its performance remains untested in open conflict, and independent verification of its specs is lacking, raising questions about its true effectiveness against stealth technology or saturation attacks. The Bavar 373-2's significance extends beyond its technical specifications to its strategic and symbolic weight. Its development reflects Iran's ability to innovate under pressure, turning sanctions into a catalyst for self-reliance. The system's potential export variant, the AD200, showcased at Dimdex 2022 in Qatar, hints at Tehran's aspirations to compete in the global arms market, challenging the dominance of Russia and the U.S. However, its limitations, unproven combat performance, potential gaps in radar sophistication compared to Western systems, and reliance on Iran's industrial capacity temper its immediate impact. In exercises like Ektidar, it has shown promise, but real-world scenarios involving Israeli F-35s or U.S. drones could expose weaknesses yet to be addressed. Nevertheless, its rapid deployment and integration with existing assets like the S-300 suggest a maturing air defense architecture, one that could complicate adversary planning. Overall, the Bavar 373-2 positions Iran as a formidable player in regional air defense, bridging gaps with more established systems through innovation and autonomy. Its strengths lie in its range, flexibility, and domestic production, which insulate it from sanctions and supply disruptions. Compared to Israel's combat-tested Aero or Turkey's S-400, it may lag in operational maturity, but its rapid development and potential export ambitions signal Iran's growing influence. As of March 2025, the Bavar 373-2 stands as a symbol of Tehran's defiance and technological ambition poised to reshape regional deterrence if its capabilities match its rhetoric. Whether it can truly alter the balance of power will depend on its performance in the crucible of conflict, an open question that looms over Iran's bold claims.